Good Monday morning. Wow. I bet that was loud because it was loud in my ears. Good Monday morning. Good Monday morning. Happy Memorial Day. Right, today's today we set aside to remember all the men and women that have gave their life serving this country and to honor those who still are out there risking their life on the daily to to serve our country, to keep us free to do what we do, to keep the freedom for us to speak Jesus over you, to keep us free, to have that freedom. I'm telling you, the most important freedom that we've got in this country is our freedom to worship the Lord and to lift him up. So let's honor our soldiers today. If you see someone out on the streets that are that you know have served, go up and give them a big hug and tell them you love them. As long as you know that it's okay to do that. Don't want to get nobody in trouble by no means, but uh, to thank them. Thank, make sure you thank them and tell them that you know you appreciate them for what they have done for, for you and me and each and every person that lives here. It's a... It is kind of a big deal for someone to serve their nation. And it's getting to be that there's fewer and fewer people willing to step up and take that role. So let's let's be thankful for the ones that do, the ones that have, and the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice. Which kind of brings me to our scripture this morning. John fifteen thirteen, very familiar scripture that most everybody knows this one by heart. John chapter 15, verse number 13. If you want to turn your Bible, and I'll share it with you here in just a second, give you time to get there. John 15, verse number 13. John 15, verse number 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Those were the words of our Savior. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Jesus said that. And the American soldier has proven that time and time again. Greater love hath no man than he laid down his life for his friends. And Jesus laid his life down for each and every one of us. Would you be willing to do that for him? A lot of us say, yes, we would. But we really need to to think about how serious a commitment you're making there because there's been a lot of people in this lifetime that have laid down their life for the Lord. There's been a lot of people in our lifetimes and before our lifetime. A lot of people through history and a lot of people will continue to lay their life down. Not just on the battlefield for our country, but serving our Lord. One day while I was thinking on unseen things above, the Savior spoke unto me and filled my heart with love. I'm going to die on the battlefield, I'm going to die in the war, I'm going to die on the battlefield, fighting for my Lord I used to have some people walked and talked with me since I've been converted turned their backs on me I'm gonna die on the battlefield I'm gonna die in the war I'm gonna die on the battlefield, fighting.
waiting for my Lord Some say give me silver Some say give me gold I say give me Jesus Satisfies my soul I'm gonna die on the battlefield I'm gonna die in the war I'm gonna die on the battlefield Fighting for my Lord I'll take this gospel trumpet And I'll begin to blow Lord, if you will help me I'll blow it wherever I go I'm gonna die on the battlefield I'm gonna die in the war I'm gonna die on the battlefield Fighting for my Lord I'm gonna die on the battlefield I'm gonna die in the war I'm gonna die on the battlefield Fighting for my Lord Greater love hath no man. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Our best friend laid down his life for each and every one of us. Jesus was willing to go to the cross to save all that are lost, to give us all that opportunity have eternal life and he is my best friend and he lives in my heart so we should all be willing to to step out on that battlefield for the lord and there's so many that are willing to not only step out on the battlefield for the lord but they step out on the real battlefield of of life where a lot of them lay down their life to keep us free to do what we do. So today on Memorial Day, as we honor our vets, those that are still with us and those that have gone on, whether it be on the battlefield or of natural causes, but we need to honor each and every person that's ever served this country with love and respect and dignity. Let's also also remember to honor and praise our Lord for setting the example of what love really really is, that true love that willing to to go to the very end of of it all to protect and love and give for his friends. And that's what we are. We're his friends. We're his family. We're adopted into his family. But first we have to become his friend. I mean, that's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And we, we need to, to remember what today's all about. And make sure that we do show honor and respect to the men and women that have served and are serving that have given it all. Hope everybody has a great day. And uh, it's kind of been short, sweet, and a little different this morning, but uh, it's one of those days when we need to just sit back and reflect and, and, and think about think about those that have given everything for, for our country and think about where we're at in this country. Let's pray and and lift up the Lord today and and be sure to pat a vet on the back today and thank them for what they have done. Love you all. God bless. Have a great day.